What's up guys, this is Brick Bros in for one day. Today we've got another RC video for you. As you can see, we've got our Red Cat Everest 10. Well, one of them anyways. And you haven't seen it yet, but we did get these Dirt Track C3 tires, Deep Woods tires. And they're really super squishy. And we got these aluminum rims, speed locks. Um, we haven't got to test them outside yet because it's still covered in snow. And we're actually supposed to get 7 to 10 more inches of snow um, tomorrow and the next day. So we won't be able to do a video crawling quite yet but we did get a motor upgrade which we're going to show you this is an axial there's that number there 27 turn motor so it should be a little bit faster this has a 54 turn motor it's a 540 size right right brush motor so this is a 540 so hopefully it'll fit but this one has a serious problem with a lot of torque like well we'll show you when you drive it it twists itself and then it raises it raises um, one side up so it loses traction. So we'll show you how bad that is. All right, so we're just gonna try to climb up this wall here to show you how much torque it has. Also, we already put two extra spacers on this side of the shock to try to help the torque, but torque twist, I should say. But here we go. See, it wants to twist itself. It will climb up a drywall wall, but this is that fibrous wood stuff, and we're not rich. It's a little bit more slick. See how much twist it has. It does this on like pretty much any kind of incline that, yeah. So these are the tires that come factory, and these are the new tires, the Duratrax Deep Woods. You see how much taller they are, but they're a little bit thinner. So, I forget what size this is. What size is these? Uh, they're the 2.2 ones. 2.2. Anyways, so that's what you want. It does rub a little bit. We'll probably have to trim this right here just a little tiny bit. Maybe this right here, you can see where it rubbing a little tiny bit but when you're turning anyways probably that little back corner but these are really super sticky tires these are awesome and um of course mentioned before we got these aluminum rims from amazon i think it was like forty dollars yeah something like that for all four of them we can leave the links in the description if you like anyways we're using the stock battery so now i'll show you what it's like with the well actually we're going to do a speed test first and then i'll show you what the battery looks like all right, so you put a phone in there. We we got this speedometer thing on this app, so it should give us our max amount of speed that we get out of this thing. So we'll see what happens. And we can't really go outside yet, so we're just going to drive it across our top floor. All right, this is stock motor test. All right, so we got a max speed of two point three miles per hour. Not very fast. So we got the body off this thing. Figured out to take the motor out. We're gonna have to remove this link right here, we believe. So you can get it out, slide it out through the back. And of course you remove these two screws in the front to hold it on. And then it'll, this little thing will come off too. So hopefully it's that simple. All right, so we hooked up the motor. Just gonna do a quick little test. Oh, there we go, spark plug will turn on. So to get those little bolts off, nuts off that hold on the arms here, we used a 5.5 millimeter wrench. Craftsman, because it's made in the USA. Well, they used to be. Most of them are. Anyways, and then we used the Allen wrench that came with one of our other RC trucks. But as you can see, it fits in there. Looks pretty cool. And now um, we're going to do a speed run and test it out. All right, so we reset the phone. Got it back on there. We're going to... Do a speed test with the new motor. All right, so we're getting a measurement of three miles an hour as the max speed. All right, so now we're getting a measurement of 2.1 miles per hour, which 
kind of thinking that's kind of probably inaccurate because it's definitely obviously much faster than the other motor but i don't know must uh just don't know all right so now we're going to do wall tests because this upgrade was mainly just to you know get rid of the torque problem so here it is we got rid of it. we took the spacers off too so it does still have good crawling speed Seems like it it's rubs a little bit, but it's definitely, it. yeah, not as bad as before. Probably if you put the shock pushes back in. Alright, so we put some spacers back in on the left side, so we'll show you what happens. Didn't, Didn't even, yeah. yeah. No rubbing. <laughs> Before the wheel speed wasn't fast enough to catch itself like that, it would just go boom and fall over. So, really excited to take this thing outside and try it out on some rocks. The motor was definitely a big improvement if you're looking at upgrades for this truck. And it still has good crawling speed, so. Alright, so that'll end our video for today. Sorry we couldn't do any actual footage outside, but I think this was a worthwhile upgrade. And um, these tires are definitely a really good upgrade too. It's really cool shiny aluminum rims look awesome on the Everest 10 so stay tuned to our channel for more videos like this and next we're going to be doing a lego mock on a humvee so stay tuned for that it'll be coming here soon